at this coalition, lads. Look at it. It's it's uh it's pretty it's pretty big. England is one of the most overpowered nations in EU4. Within a few years, you can have France in a personal union and control the entirety of the British Isles without breaking a sweat. Naturally, I wanted to test this nation and take it to its breaking point. Something else that's about to reach breaking point is this channel. At 100,000 subscribers, we're planning on visiting Ulm and seeing if it lives up to the EU4 hype. We're less than 8,000 subscribers away and we want to see if we can hit 100k by the end of the month. So if you want to see daily content, why not help us out and subscribe? I never play as big nation, so let's see what sort of damage I can do with England. Right, so if you've never played as England before, let me show you around. We start off with the worst possible ruler, Henry VI of Lancaster, as well as a little disaster that's likely going to fire, uh, being the War of the Roses. Unless, of course, we can get an air. We also have one of the most fleshed out mission trees in, uh, in EU4, in my opinion. And we also have to fight the French pretty much instantly. I'm also going to be doing this without any allies. Because uh, ordinarily you can get Burgundy or Aragorn or Castile involved and uh, they'll all help you fight France. But I don't want to do that today. Alright, let's get everything started. We'll be taking religious diplomats though because I intend on taking a lot of aggressive expansion. Alright, let's prep for the surrender of Maine. Uh, there is a strategy to avoid the surrender of Maine entirely. Uh, that is cowardice. I will be taking France as a personal union and I will be overpowered. Right, let's get rid of our alliance with the uh, Portuguese. Thank you very much. Now, if I do my job right, we shouldn't need these forts. I might do my job wrong. <laughs> Well, that's three ducats we're going to need if we're going to be 1v1-ing France and all of his allies and vassals and everything. I mean, look at our manpower. No, France. What, no, we're enemies. <laughs> what? Give me military access. The French didn't actually rival us. It's a bit strange. The Scottish did. All right, let's get this going. Come on, France. Do it. Do it. Trigger the surrender of Maine. Alliance from Castile and Aragon. Oh, I'd love to, lads. I'd love to. But that's not this kind of game. Here we go. Right. Surrender of Maine. All right. They've declared the war. Who did they get as allies? Uh, just Provence. Okay, sweet. So we are, of course, heavily outnumbered, uh, outgunned, outmanpowered, but that's fine. Okay, we're gonna need an advisor. Oh, that'll do, thank you very much. We're also gonna need bug loans from now. <laughs> this is not an easy war to win, to be honest. All right, we do have a thousand ducats to play with. <laughs> yes, we'll upgrade Stonehenge, that's the plan. All right, we're gonna grab ourselves the free company initially, but I have no doubt that that's gonna increase uh, soon. And of course, speed fight. <laughs> All right, we've got the French Navy trap. Brilliant, don't have to worry about that anymore. And we've got a hope, lads. We just got a hope. Could take access with the Burgundians to go round straight into Paris. Let me give that a go. No, I'd have to go through Bordeaux. Okay, well, let's get rid of that access, please, as quickly as we can. Oh, no, they've got uh, they got troops in their boys. Right, brilliant, they probably already have gone to Calais. I mean, that was the tactic, drag them onto Calais. It's 44,000. Okay, they want to fight that. We're gonna have to fight it. All right, we do have the edge on discipline. They've got the edge on morale. And we should have the numbers. It's close. Okay, rolling ones doesn't help, but we did kill about 18,000? Jesus Christ, a lot. Oh, infantry combat ability. Okay, that's exactly what we need in England. Because that stacks really nicely with our existing ideas of plus 10. So we currently have plus 20% uh, infantry combat ability. All right, there's the Siege of Chartres. All right, let's go straight to Paris. Keep our troops together. Again, they're going to have a massive edge in terms of manpower. So we've got to be a little bit careful. But wherever we can, let's pick up these vassal troops. I'm actually going to do something a little bit risky here and try and siege down Basse-Poitou before he sieges down. I don't know where the French troops are. I'm going to risk it to go and try and fight down here. All right, we've got some French troops down there. Oh, some French troops here. Where are they going? Probably a good idea for me to fight him here, to be honest. That's, I mean, it's woods, but we have a general to his 3-0. All right, we're going to do it. I mean, they're already down to medium, which is a little bit surprising. Okay, they decided against it. I think they're going to try and take out Paris. No, they're going to Shath. Okay, if they go to Shath and try and siege down Shath whilst I'm sieging down Paris, that's ideal because I can clean up this area. Oh, okay, they're leaving the siege. Let's try and clean up a little bit then. Ooh, come on, get in. All right, that's nice. Ooh, Henry the Sick leaving in front of the front there. Jesus Christ. Okay, fair enough. He's also got 10% infantry combat ability now, I think. Oh, we will absolutely take that. There we go. Nice stack back there. All right, this is going really well. How's the War of the Roses doing? Okay, that's going to trigger pretty soon. What I found in this uh, patch is that this was a little bit easier to win because the AI will not leave a siege if they're close to winning it. So this lot here could have taken out Paris, but they didn't because they're close to winning. As part of that, I'm hoping that they'll either leave Chartres and fight us here and we'll take the loss, or we can just take out these smallest uh, armies. Right, nice, okay, right. We are hurting for manpower quite a bit, so I'm gonna start doing some shift consolidation and pull into our lands a little bit. We do have ticking war score. Don't know if it's enough. We Okay, to have strategic control over France, you need this fort, because then you can march through and stack like most uh, nations. Let's get rid of some of these armies. And we are going to need the, probably the Grand Company. So the thing is with the combat width, which is down here, 20. 
you kind of only want to stagger in like sort of 22 at a time ish if you stack this lot together you're gonna be uh, a bit inefficient and yes i am try hiding this because i really want to win this war because otherwise it's gonna be a bit embarrassing when this comes out all right nice couple of stack wipes there they are on low we're running out of manpower we have run out of manpower so it's not gonna make a difference so you send this lot in with the 20k oh there we go okay i'm gonna do something risky I'm gonna send some guys to go see, uh, what's it called, Oit Puto. Can you imagine how blessed European history would be if this actually happened? Right, I kind of want him to stay there. I don't want him to move too much. Because the more siege progress we get on this siege, better, oh no. Uh, I don't really care about Lollards, so we're gonna let them exist. All right, now we're just betting that we can win this siege faster than they can. How close are we to the Union? Minus 24, all right, we can get this done even before the, uh, or the roses. Right, a 4-3-2, nice. All right, cheers, Henry, appreciate that. And that should stave off the War of the Roses. How, hang on, how long did I have left? It was next month. Okay, all right, we'll take that. Ooh, I'll stack with Provincial troops though. Shift consolidate. All right, that should be enough. I should have done enough now. Especially if I start sieging down these other areas and I win that siege, I think this war should be done. In decent time too. Spectacular, we killed 126,000 Frenchmen. All right, they should be disloyal. They are. They're not that disloyal. Get them up with some uh, improving of relations. We've won the Hundred Years War, so we can click the subjugate France. Ooh, Henry VI games one, one, one. I'm gonna hold off on that one. I know I usually don't hold off on uh, clicking those buttons, but in this case, I think I have to. I might keep around the Grand Company and get rid of the Free Company, you know, because I think we can afford it. And apparently, my mouse has stopped working. I don't have a spare mouse, so if this is broken. <laughs> This is a really strange way to end the- well, I can't end the video. Oh god. Ah! Brilliant. Okay. It's working. <laughs> I've been panicked there for a bit. All right, I get loads of claims, including some GH Caspelli, if I have 60% of our manpower. So it might be an idea for us to just chill for a while, or at least, at the very least, not use any manpower. Sorry, did I say recover? I must have misspoken. All right, the idea is I'm only going to use uh, this lot. I just want to keep them out of the coalition. I don't think the French have any more troops. Yeah, kill them all. But we've won the Siege of Nante, and that should be enough for the white piece. Excellent. That'll buy us a little bit more time so the Burgundians don't join the Kurdish. We have no loans as well, which is amazing. The power of not having forts. Why is Poland more of a great power than us? What do they do? They take something. No, pretty standard. They haven't taken any territory. But the Byzantines have! That's what the Serbians did as well. <laughs> right, well, keep an eye on that, I suppose. God's sake. That's like, a, that's a strong win as well. That's not like one or two provinces. <laughs> All right, Aragon voluntarily making themselves weaker during a war. Impressive. Releasing Aragon. Oh, oh I was about to ally them. No, no allies. We walk alone, along with, you know, our friends. Oh my God, did they declare war on? They attacked the, the Albanians. You just got smashed by the Byzantines. Surely, surely this doesn't go well for you. Yeah, Venice is involved. Oh my God. All right, a couple more troops and we should be able to get claims on everyone. Oh no, John Talbot died. So let me show you before and after. This is England. This is England. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. So your reward for just chilling and waiting for a little bit as England is uh, to go a bit mental now on the islands. Right, we're just gonna hope our king doesn't die. He's 32, but if he dies uh, before this number is positive, uh, we don't have the Pussy Union anymore. There's our truce with uh, Burgundy, but we should have negated the uh, coalition. It's good for the most part, at least. Did you lose that war? Yeah, he did. Wait, no one won that war. Navarra's independent. <laughs> and called for a crusade against the Ottomans. Well, now's a good time, to be honest. Now's a pretty good time. Jesus Christ. Let's got ourselves a leader. He's terrible. That's fine. Doesn't matter where we're going. All right, I promised uh, chaos, and this is how I'm going to achieve it. We're going to co-belligerent everyone that's physically possible to co-belligerent, and we're going to attack the British Isles as one. That's how you avoid coalitions. Fight everyone at once. The French, by the way, are loyal now. <laughs> that's always nice. We got Miltech 4, they got Miltech 4, brilliant. That's always got to, the thing you gotta watch out for with England. If you're attacking England, make sure that you have more Miltech than they do at the start, because they suck. Uh, if you are England, make sure you do not fall behind on Miltech. Also, England has its own government type, if you didn't know, in the English monarchy. It's pretty cool. Now, the hope here is that Scotland usually goes for London. Oh, we've already won it. Brilliant. You traveled across the entire country to go and siege down Somerset. There are more significant places, like apparently hell. <laughs> Which is a bit harsh considering I attacked them and then I'm telling them that they're going to go to hell, but you know, it's war, right? All right, let's march through ship by ship. Oh, it's so much fun playing the English Navy. <laughs> that could have been bad. 
23. Okay, we're good. Jesus Christ. He died leading an army, so we got minus two stability, which sucks, but it's okay. 565, though, as a uh, uh, as a regent. Brilliant. Taking out the Irish. There are actually quite a few Irishmen here. I don't really want to fight that without you lot getting involved. I've also found the AI uh, in this patch is a bit more passive, um, which I don't know how I feel about that. Because on the one hand, they're not senselessly killing themselves. On the other hand, they don't really attack. See, there's 31,000 men here. They should have really fought me before. So Ireland's small enough that if you win one battle, you should be able to stack quite pretty much everyone. And another infantry combat ability. That's three in a row. I don't know what the odds are of that. That's ridiculous. I'm oh, sorry, Genoa's trying to attack. Oh my god, they did it. But you get attacked now. Oh, hungry, you can't. You can't get involved like this. Skanderbeg did it. Oh no, sorry, it's his, it's his legendary son, John II. Now the smart thing to do here would be to stagger your conquest, right? So you, you take one province at a time, because if you take everything, then there's gonna be a massive coalition. Alternatively, you could declare war on the rest of Ireland, and that could be fun. All right, that should be the entirety of Ireland pretty much occupied now. Oh, there's one last province, there we go. Oh boy. Okay, that's, that's some heretics. I think they might have nicked the character. Yeah, they did. They stole one of my characters. And they used it against me. I've left my cogs unprotected. I think we lost more ships in this war than uh, than any war I've ever had in E4. <laughs> just from carelessness. All right, just waiting for the last two to finish now. There's one. And there's two. Right, so that's the British Isles that almost entirely under our control. Now, let's go down the list. In fact, I'm going to show you before. And there we have it. The entirety of the British Isles is under our control. Uh, albeit, there is going to be a huge coalition. Like, uh, it's, it's pretty... It's <laughs> oh, staple port. Lovely. Let's do that. Coalitions. <laughs> What's my aggressive expansion? 108. Okay, well, that's uh, one second. Take the next build tech, because something tells me we're going to need it. <laughs> it's not looking good, boys. I mean, there is one chance I think I'd have. But I need to get my troops there now. All right. Henry the Sixth. Uh, seventh, sorry, of Lancaster. Uh, he's just, and uh, also he's gonna have subjugated France. We need you, buddy. Oh, he didn't get the, the plus one stuff. I thought that would, that carried over. Well, that was a waste. All right, we got uh, conquered Scotland. We got conquered Ireland. We got an heir, two, three, six, another Henry. You haven't joined the coalition against me, and it's because you're friendly. <laughs> Look at this coalition, lads. Look at it. It's, it's, uh... It's pretty, it's pretty big. No one's declared war, so it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, a okay, case. Oh no, no, you can't, you can't do this. You can't take out the Byzantines. They did all the work. Bulgaria is now defending against the Ottomans. Okay. Albania has taken out most of Serbia, but the Byzantines did everything. The Byzantines and Serbians did everything to take out the Ottomans. So you can't just swoop in and do that. All right, I'm gonna get rid of the Grand Company, which is terrifying because it means people might declare war on us. I'm gonna. Substitute them in with the free company, which are larger now. More people have still joined the coalition. I took that land like 10 years ago, lads. Let's calm it down. Ha <laughs> ha! Philip of Nassau. Good job, buddy. Proud of you. And if it stops the onslaught of uh, Hungarian incursions in the Balkans, I'm happy with the Archduke of uh, Austria-Hungary. In my opinion, there are two ways to play England. There are, there's the colonial game, in which case you, you go over here, take colonial ideas, or there's the, uh, you double down and go after the entire uh, continent game think which I'm going for. I'm going to make sure we get Miltic 6 before we do anything else because, uh, yep, mass coalition. These rebels are super chill. <laughs> the Irish do not really care about revolting right now. I mean, they're a bit upset about it, but we just have lots of good stuff like uh, our guys just, we've got high legitimacy, English traditions, positive stability, and I say this all as the French have rebels. <laughs> I'm really surprised the coalition doesn't think they can take me. I'm really surprised. I think it's literally just because the Austrians and the Aragonese haven't joined because they're friendly. I think if they join, be pretty screwed. Okay, hang on. We are fighting the Danes. I could just be the useless England that doesn't get involved, but I think it'd be kind of fun to have an independent Sweden. So we're going to do what we can to make that happen. All right, go on, Robert Warwick. Oust the Scandinavians from our shores. Should have done that hundreds of years ago. And we... I thought they said we kidnapped the character for a second there. The Irish really aren't that rowdy. That's kind of a bad thing, because it means that there's just a ticking time bomb in, uh, in, in Ireland. And please, no one say I'm saying anything political with that. I know what you lot are like. Oh! Oh, hey guys! Uh, uh, that's bad. They're gonna destroy 3,000 troops unless we get there. Just three lone Carracks, huh? Oh, we stole one of their Carracks. Brilliant. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, good job, Sweden! Defending their territory. It's good to see. I fully believe I could fight the entirety of the coalition. I really, I really think I could. As it stands, even with Castile and stuff, I, I think, I think I could probably do that. 
That's why they're not declaring war, because I've got a war chest, I've got 34,000 manpower, and I'm not even at my force limit. All right, we get national manpower modifier plus 50%. Lovely, and also probably get these ships out of here. Why do we have a carrot? Is that Scottish? Ah, oh, Scotland has a carrot. Good job, lads. You still disloyal? Yeah, you are. There's a political joke about the modern state of the uh, United Kingdom to be made, but uh, it, it feels a bit lazy. Maybe I can't even be bothered to make it. Maybe I'm lazy. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Ottomans seem to be... They took out the Byzantines! There's no way you'd believe me if I told you that the Ottomans would make a slight comeback and take out the Byzantines after that start. And that Albania seems to be the dominant power in, in the Balkans. Aside from, obviously, the Ottomans. They, I think they're going to come back, you know? I could ally them and really piss off everyone. Ah, uh, but I did say no allies. I'm currently allied to Sweden. I, I don't know what the rules are anymore. The Norwegian Navy's back. Finally, we could use this Navy I've been paying for. Where's he going? Where's he going? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Oh. What? Oh, come on. You're going to see two provinces, tons of provinces. No, hang on. You're going to see a bunch of provinces to Sweden and then a bunch of provinces more to Sweden. And that's it. All right, well, thanks for that, Sweden. Uh, appreciate it. Dissolve this alliance now. So many French particulars all the time. Albania, I'd love to ally you, man. I really, really, really would, but I can't. It's no allies. It's the rules. The Poles, though, this is consistently happening where the Poles are just really expanding eastwards quite rapidly. Do you have the largest army in the world? All of the manpower? Oh, I got excited. I thought that maybe we were getting, gonna have to fight some rebels. My dog is going mental. I don't know if the microphone is picking that up. It's going mental in the background. Yeah, apparently this camera does not like dogs. It's just completely out of focus. It might be a bit egregious considering I had the dog in the last video, but people seem to like her. She also always looks forlorn. I don't know why. She's a happy dog, I swear. All right, let's make London a world port. And we'll also make... Which one? This one, a level two. I've made every level two now. In case you're wondering. Oh, no, I haven't. Calais. And level two set of trade. I think it's everywhere I can. Second set of ideas. I think I am going to go exploration. I think I'm powerful enough. I don't need more ideas on the continent, really. Oh, no. The Livonians got taken out by the Poles. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Ottomans have taken out Caraman. The Ottomans really are trying to come back. It's impressive. Star Chamber minus one national unrest. Jesus. How, what's our national unrest now? Like minus uh, five, minus six, minus seven. Minus 12 is a Catholic, uh, Catholic province, which means it's F3, which means we should actually have any rebellions, like, ever. Oh, Castile's left the coalition. Lost the stability. <laughs> There's ups and downs, right. The coalition is now tiny. I say tiny, it's still most of Western Europe. But it's tiny in comparison to what it was. Oh my god, more stuff for England. Stability cost modifier minus 10% and state maintenance minus 10% for the rest of the game. Oh my god, England's so overpowered, it's beautiful. All right, quick, get back to port before we destroy our entire navy, <laughs> please. Oh god, oh god, they might not make it. Uh-oh. Uh ah, uh, I might have just single-handedly sunk the British Navy. That's not good. <laughs> Whoops. Ah, there it is. Everyone leaving the coalition. Let's stop drilling. It's time we went on a little bit of a conquest. If I attack Burgundy, they'll probably, you know, join a coalition against me. If I attack Castile, they'll probably join a coalition against me. If I attack both of them at the same time, then neither one of them could join a coalition afterwards, right? Right, I've, uh, I've also built back our navy. We can forget about the whole incident in Brazil. <laughs> Thank you very much. There's one. Oh, you don't even have any allies. Oh, this is sickeningly easy. And there's... Wait for it. Wait for it. There's two. All right, Elizabeth Cornwallis. Please take us to victory. I've had the free company this entire time. They're really not... You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to get normal troops. Uh, I'm also going to build some cannons. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That should help with any sieges. Uh oh. Uh... Uh... Oh no, I've left the French alone. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, lads. My bad. And this lot should be able to blow up every single fort they come across, which is great. Why am I letting myself be blockaded? Come on, Lath. Be better than this. Let's go take out the Spanish Navy. Something tells me in a few hundred years they might try something. <laughs> well, not in this timeline, I suppose. All right, let's actually have a fight for the first time. See how well our troops do. Ah, yeah, pretty, pretty well. But I think that has more to do with uh, the overwhelming numbers versus any sort of uh, real skill. Can you stop attacking my fleet that's just trying to explore the new world? I'm trying to push what, what, the boundaries of humanity, right? And you're out here fighting them. Let's go straight in. Maybe we'll catch them before they win the siege. And we did indeed. And there's the win. Do you even have any more forts? I don't think you do. Oh, man. It's really... Oh, this is bullying then, I think. I'm going to lie, this uh, fighting everyone thing. I thought it would be a little bit trickier. <laughs> oh, we might lose that. Nope. <laughs> what did I do? I think I just... Solved the succession crisis over here. I mean, Granada, man. There's not going to be a better time than this. Stop attacking him! <laughs> Can't have a navy and not be English. This is this is strange. 
It's not rule of Spania, is it? Finish off quantity ideas, which means that our force limit is now 101,000 troops. That seems balanced. It's not even 1,500. <laughs> there will be some Castilian troops around there. There are indeed. Fight. Oh my god, they summoned more. They came from the depths. Oh my god. <laughs> That's really well timed. It's not going to make any difference, but it's well timed. Could you please stop attacking the goddamn exploration fleet? Or I'll start sending everyone on exploration. I did not know that Antwerp was a coastal province. Go on, France, finish them off. Yes, that's what we want to see. We're going to start the English golden era because I feel like it definitely is. And we've integrated the Scottish. Oh, nice. Maritime Empire. And we get a claim on Jebel Tarek. Also known as Gibraltar. All right, if this doesn't get Western Europe going, nothing will. There is one piece steel, and there's the other one. So what I've done, ladies and gentlemen, is I have taken uh, a huge chunk of Castile, uh, a decent chunk down here. Let's see, would, would they actually, will they actually trigger the coalition? It's 150% over extension. Just curious to see if they'll actually do it. <laughs> right, ladies and gentlemen, that is our coalition, and that is where we'll leave it for today. Uh, that was a lot of fun. England is a ridiculously well fleshed out nation, and if you haven't played them by some miracle, then definitely do. Uh, you can play it exactly how you want to play it. If you struggle to win that war at the start, because it's kind of a tricky one, you can uh, release main. Uh, so you can either release Normandy or give mine to, uh, to Provence or something like that, and it will avoid the war entirely. If you've balked at buying EU4 DLC because of the cost, there's a deal right now for 33 expansions and the base game for only $20 over at Humble Bundle. That's $400 worth of content for 5% of the price. I've left a link in the comments so you can go check it out. Shout out to our Patreons. J Erickson321, Shadow Singer, Jado52, Cargan, Flyerton, Henrique, Redguard76, Xiaomi, and Charlie Demorel. Your support means a lot, guys.